I am Daniel Lickies, and welcome to Book 101 Review. Book 101 is all about the books that I read for the last 40 years. And today, I have my special guest. He is my co-host on my other podcast, Food 101. No other than Chef Alessandro Panatoni. Hello, Daniel. How are you? I'm fabulous like you, Shafi. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Welcome to Book 101. Thanks for having me. Yes, and uh, Chef and I are here today to discuss our podcast, Food, ah, food 101. Yay! So what can you say about Food 101, Shafi? Well, it's the greatest uh, podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we are number 12 of the best food podcasts on the planet, people. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. I really enjoy to do it. It's, a, it's an amazing uh, time that I spend. Um, um, actually, my day off, that's, uh, that's how I spend my time, talking about cooking. Yes, cooking and cooking and cooking. Yes. Uh, he is an Italian executive chef. I'm working in Toronto um, at the Windsor Arms Hotel. It's a five-star hotel. Yes, I have uh, uh, many, many years of uh, uh, experience in the culinary job. Absolutely. Yes, the first time we uh, met uh, Chef Alessandro through uh, social media. <laughs> yeah, yes, that, that, that was uh, funny. Wow. We had a, a funny, <laughs> funny introduction between us. Yes. 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 Uh, Chef Alessandro greeted me for my anniversary. I said, oh, yes, thank you so much, Safi. And <laughs> that is a uh, spark our relationship as a co-host. <laughs> yes, that's right. And I introduced him to, can you be my guest on my podcast? Of course. And if you go back to our second season, it's really hilarious because <laughs> at the time, it's, it's, it's not... Let's say our podcast at the time is not fully polished, but now we are polished enough to encourage <laughs> you to listen. Well, it was a challenge. I never did in my life a podcast. So for me, it was uh, uh, something, uh, something different, something new, uh, really a challenge. And uh, uh, then at the end, I find, after the first episode, the second episode, the third episode, I said, well, you know what? I start to enjoy this one. You know, it's, yes. uh, uh, you know, I can talk about cooking. I can talk about what I'm doing every day. You know, that's what yeah. I love to do. That's uh, yes. I, 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 I like to share and, uh, you know, to, to everybody, to people that listen to us, to people that want to work with us. You know, uh, I can share my experience, whatever I did in my life, how many mistakes I did in my life. <laughs> in cooking. So, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's an amazing way to communicate with people. True. And, uh, we learn a lot from Chef when our second season because we talk about his favorite soup, his favorite <laughs> main course, <laughs> favorite cheese. <laughs> yes. And, and we learn a lot from him. And we shared it to you. And thank you for those uh, people listening to our Food 101. We are very grateful because... Without them, we are nothing. Because right now we are 1.5 percent uh, popular show. <laughs> <Globally. laughs> That's good. That's amazing. <laughs> and uh, Food One One is all about uh, Italian cuisine right now, right, Chefy? Yes. But, but we talk about everything. Come on, we we was talking about you know uh, uh, Japanese food. We were talking about pavlova not too long ago, no? <laughs> <laughs> How to make pavlova people so easy. Uh, no, we, we can talk. If people ask us what, to talk about something, yes, yeah, we can talk about it. Yes, yes. absolutely. True. So, Shafi, as an example of what we're doing on Food 101, let's talk about pavlova. Oh, yeah, no problem. Okay. It's a nice uh, Russian dessert. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's good, it's it's good a, for it's everybody. A very, it's a very nice uh, meringue, you know. You uh, then uh, you stuff it with the whipped cream. Uh, some people put the custard cream, and uh, you can put uh, jam on top. Uh, but I like with the whipped cream, so give it a nice fluffy thing on top. Eh? And yes. uh, uh, fresh uh, berry, uh, strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, blackberry, whatever you like. 
on top and a little bit mint, mint and uh, lots of rising sugar. I promise lots of kilocalories over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's but true. once in a while we can do it, come on. <laughs> yes, once in a while. <laughs> so how many minutes are we going to cook the pavlova, Chef? Uh, pavlova, it's uh, take uh, about maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Yes. Yes. The hard, the hard thing to do doing the pavlova is how to make the egg emulsify. So yes, make the sure meringue, that, yes. Yes, yes the, the meringue. meringue. No, yes. more especially because we, I'm doing pavlova many times on my first, I did the first time is flop. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> <But> <laughs> the sometimes, sometimes it's even the oven. You need a very good oven too for, for that, for dessert. Good oven. Good oven and technique in doing the meringue because but I always believe, I always believe that's what we talk about every time at Food 101. No, we always yes. believe that <laughs> then, uh, you know, more you practice and more you make a mistake in the kitchen, and more you learn about it. So that's True, the good part that's of uh, you know, this job. Yes, the as as uh, chef and I talk about the more you make mistake, the more you're getting better. Oh, yes. Because Mistake make you perfect, people. <laughs> <laughs> the same with writing, because I do lots of uh, interview, lots of writers. Uh, something they mistake, they make that pattern to make them better in yeah. the next writing. The same with cooking, people. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> don't afraid to make mistake, because that make you better, perfect in the future. Yes, absolutely. You know, so, you need, uh, you need, uh, you know, to try uh, your challenge in the kitchen. And uh, don't be afraid because, you know, I get to see so many people, oh, I don't like cooking. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's not about just, uh, you know, okay, some people don't really like cook. But, you know, uh, I, I, I feel like every time I'm in the kitchen, it's the best time that I spend with the family after you cook with them because i i ask my kids to give me a help to help me out i ask my wife so you know when you have to sit down on the table with the family and, and you eat your food you know that's uh, you know make you proud of what you did you know yes uh, you make you enjoy even more and uh, of course then the critic on on your food papa this is good not good <laughs> Oh, mom, <laughs> my wife is going to say, oh, that's too salty. Oh. <laughs> so next time we can make it better. <laughs> yes, it, it, it makes you better in the future. So don't afraid to commit mistakes. People, right. especially in the kitchen. And as Chef said, nowadays that uh, people are getting lesser, lesser to... Uh, to do this industry, yes, because uh, most especially the Gen Z people, <laughs> they, they they don't like this job because number one, they have less money. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely, enough money, yes. uh, no enough time with the family, uh, yes. no enough time for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but I always believe, okay, uh, I choose this job because I love it. Yes, I choose the job because this one was, uh, I think, what I, I really want to do in my life. And I want to, I want to cook, you know. Uh, some people really love it, like I do. And uh, these people, they should continue, but they should will not, never give up. That's the thing. Yes. Lots they of don't... people give up, especially when we had, uh, you know, the uh, pandemic time. Everybody changed job. That's, uh, that's sad yes. because, you know, lots of good uh, uh, chef uh, change job uh, and do something else. Yes, true. Yeah, they they really affected by the pandemic, yeah. and uh, sad that uh, the pandemic crippled the economy, everything, and then uh, this industry really one of the big hit affected. Yeah. Absolutely. So, people out there, if you want to be a cook, we encourage you to do so because this is a decent job. The more you get older, the more you paid more. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a lot of hard work, pressure, but if you love you, what you are doing, it, it, it doesn't matter. Go for it. it it's your uh, dream to be a chef, or a dream to be a cook. Go for it because this is a decent job and it gives you a satisfaction 
after the whole day. That, what are you enjoying? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, when I started, I was a, I was a kid. I was uh, uh, 14 years old. That I started to have my first, uh, first season in, uh, in uh, working in the kitchen. And uh, then after I went to the culinary school, and uh, my first uh, hotel job was a stage. A uh, stage in a five-star uh, hotel, two-star Michelin. And I was yes. working for one of the greatest chefs. And I was no get paid. I was working for free for six months. Yes. Just to learn the job. Oh. And uh, I think it was one of the greatest experience I have, uh, you know, when I was a, a teenager because I started so young. Yes. Yeah. And... Was, uh, yeah, that's, uh, you know, people, you know, the kids, they should get this kind of uh, opportunity in their life. And they should try you know you know it's yes. not just about the money sometimes it's just about you know to learn and you know get the experience because in one day you're going to get paid back for that yes and satisfy your craving <laughs> absolutely absolutely yes if this is your passion to do it go for it because as chef said it will return it back to you <laughs> yes absolutely <laughs> Be passionate for everything that you're doing. That's what we talk about every time on the Food 101. <laughs> yes, every time we talk about that. So please do listen to our uh, podcast, okay. Food 101. And I want to recommend to uh, read this book for you. At, uh, if you want to know really what's happening in the kitchen, this is uh, one of the great culinary books that can confidential adventure in the culinary belly by, by the late anthony borden you need anthony to borden was a great yes chef. yes greatest chef if you want to know what is really happening in the kitchen from starting to <laughs> from closing this is a good <laughs> book for you <laughs> so chefy what else you can say about food 101 uh, it's a great uh, show uh, please listen to us <laughs> we will bore you trust yes, me yes because we, we talk every week different things different uh uh item different yes. <laughs> recipe we yes. give a recipe we talk about food and everything so you know and of course if they want if they want more they're looking for more like uh uh, special recipes that they want something particular just they can ask for us and then we can uh, talk about it yes we are uh, open to everyone to join our discussion if it's beyond our you know the topics absolutely it, absolutely yes we can discuss it for you yeah we can squeeze you in <laughs> <laughs> and expand more yes <laughs> for your better understanding yes so people listening on my book one one review please do listen to our podcast with chef alessandro food 101 yes thank you chefy thank you very much for having me morigan people see you soon bye bye